Right now you are operating under a hidden belief that is sabotaging your reality. You don't even know it's there, yet it dictates everything. It decides how long your success takes. It decides how impossible your goals feel. You've been programmed to see time as a straight line, past behind you, future ahead. You stuck in the middle, marching one step at a time from birth to death. Because of this linear view, you believe your life must follow the same slow rules. Want to change your circumstances. You have to travel the distance. Want to manifest something new. You have to wait for it to arrive. You are trapping yourself in the waiting room of your own life. But here is the truth. That straight line is a lie. It is a perceptual filter your brain created to help you survive. But it is not how reality works. And the moment you shatter this illusion, everything changes. Not gradually. Not someday. When you stop seeing time as a distance to cross, you collapse the gap between where you are and where you want to be. Years of struggle can dissolve overnight. Quantum leaps replace slow steps. This isn't just theory. This is the physics of how your reality actually functions. Here is how to break the loop. Let me show you exactly what has been programmed into you. From the moment you were born, the world reinforced a single rigid story. Time moves forward. The past is dead. The future is unwritten. You are locked in a narrow now, moving along a track that only goes one way. This belief feels obvious because your biological survival depends on it. You remember yesterday, you don't remember tomorrow. Cause leads to effect, it seems undeniable. But here is the secret you were never told. The way you experience time is not how time actually exists. Your brain is not a window to reality, it is a filter. It constructs a linear timeline to keep you sane in a physical body. But that timeline is a simulation, not the truth. Think about your dreams. In the dream state, the rules of linear time shatter. You can be in one place, then instantly in another. A lifetime can pass in a second. The dead are alive. Past and future bleed together. And while you are in it, it feels completely real. When you wake up, you dismiss it as just a dream. But what if the dream state is closer to the truth? What if your waking life is the distortion, a simplified interface created by your brain? Science backs this up. At the quantum level, the foundation of our universe, time does not flow in one direction. Particles can influence their own past. Effects can happen before causes. Past, present and future exist simultaneously in a state of superposition. Your brain blocks this infinite reality out. It feeds you a simplified, linear story. And because you believe the story, you accept the limitations that come with it. When you view time as a straight line, you commit a fatal error. You create distance. You invent a gap between where you are now and where you want to be. That gap isn't physically real, but because you perceive it, it becomes your reality. Take your biggest goal. Maybe it's financial freedom, a new career, or a specific relationship. Linear time tells you that goal lives in the future. You are here. It is there. To reach it, you believe you must travel through time, step by grueling step to get to it. You create a plan. You wait. You struggle. The goal stays perpetually ahead of you, like a carrot on a stick, always requiring just a little more time to reach. The same trap sabotages your healing. You carry wounds or trauma, and linear logic tells you that time heals all wounds. You convince yourself that you need years of processing, years of therapy, years of waiting for the pain to fade, and because you believe healing is a journey of distance it becomes one. You are not waiting on the healing, you are waiting on your own permission to let the time pass. This is the tragedy of linear time. It creates an artificial separation between you and your desires. It makes change feel heavy, slow and exhausting. It keeps you trapped in old patterns because you believe the past is a solid object behind you that cannot be touched. But I am telling you now, none of that distance is real. It is a hallucination created by the filter in your mind. And you can turn that filter off. So how does time actually work? If it's not a straight line, what is it? Imagine a film strip. When you watch a movie, you see one frame at a time. It feels like a linear sequence. But if you hold the film strip in your hands, you can see that the entire movie exists at once. The beginning, the middle, and the end are all simultaneously present in your hand. This is reality. The past is not a fading memory. It is a living room you just walked out of. 
The future is not a potential, it is a room that is already built, furnished and waiting for you to enter. You are not moving through time, you are shifting your awareness between moments that already exist. This changes everything, it means the version of you who has the money, the love, the health and the freedom that version exists right now. They are not a possibility, they are a living actuality, they are breathing and experiencing that reality in this very second just on a different frequency. You don't have to become them, you just have to tune into them. I know this sounds impossible to the logical mind. So let me give you proof you can verify in your own experience. Think about a moment when you just knew you had to do something. You took a left turn instead of a right. You called a friend out of the blue. You quit a job with no backup plan. Logically, it made no sense. But you followed the urge and it turned out to be the perfect decision. We call this intuition, but quantum physics offers a wilder explanation, retrocausality. Lab experiments have proven that particles can be influenced by their own future. Measurements made tomorrow can determine outcomes today. If subatomic particles can do this, so can you. That gut feeling you had, that wasn't a guess. That was your future self, the one who has already lived through this moment, sending a signal back in time. They were guiding you. They were saying, go this way. I've already walked the path and this is the way out. You aren't guessing your way forward. You are remembering your way back. If this is starting to click for you, if you are beginning to feel the shift, I want you to anchor it right now. Drop a comment below that says, time is simultaneous. By declaring it, you are telling your subconscious to stop filtering reality through the old linear map. You are opening the door. Once you make this shift, the changes in your external reality aren't subtle. They are observable, measurable, and often shocking. First synchronicities will multiply. You think about someone, and they call. You need a specific piece of information, and it appears in your feed. You find yourself in the right place at the right time, with impossible frequency. This isn't luck. This is what happens when the wall between now and later comes down. Your future self is finally able to coordinate your circumstances because you are no longer blocking the signal with linear logic. Second, the speed of manifestation accelerates. Goals that should take years collapse into months. Things that should take months happen in weeks. This isn't because you are working harder. It's because you have stopped creating artificial distance between you and the desire. You realize the version of reality where you have it already exists. So you stop trying to build it and simply align with it. Third, your past loses its grip on you. Old patterns dissolve without years of processing. Trauma releases without endless digging. Why? Because you stop seeing the past as a heavy statue you have to carry. You realize the past is a fluid event occurring alongside the present. And because it is happening now, it can be changed now. People around you will notice this. They'll say, you seem different. They won't be able to name it, but they will feel it. You are no longer carrying the dead weight of back then. Finally, your decision-making becomes instant and eerily accurate. You stop agonizing. You stop agonizing every variable. You simply know. You aren't trying to predict the future from a limited perspective. You are downloading the answer from the version of you who has already succeeded. You are being guided by the only person who actually knows the way. So how do you actually make this shift? How do you stop seeing time as a line and start experiencing it as a circle? Here is the protocol that will rewire your brain. Every morning before you get pulled into the momentum of the day, take 10 minutes, sit quietly, close your eyes, and instead of thinking about your past as behind you and your future as ahead of you, I want you to feel them surrounding you. Your past is not gone, it is here. It is simply a room you aren't standing in right now. Your future is not waiting. It is here. It is a room you haven't entered yet. Your present is not a fleeting second on a timeline. It is the awareness that holds the entire house together. You are not in time. Time is in you. Stay with this feeling for five minutes. Do not analyze it. Just feel the weight of the linear world drop off. Feel what it is like to be the container of time rather than a traveler through it. Then, for the next five minutes, practice the shift. Bring to mind something you want in your future. Do not look forward to it. Look at it. Feel it existing right now, in this simultaneous moment. Reach your awareness into that room. 
How does the furniture feel? What is the temperature? Let your body remember a future that is already happening. Then, think about a past moment that still hurts. Instead of seeing it as a scar on a timeline, see it as a live event happening right now next door. Send new energy into that room. Send compassion. Send peace. Watch how the emotional charge changes in real time. Do this for 30 days. You will not just feel different. You will see reality bend. The synchronicities will spike. The manifestation will accelerate. The old patterns will dissolve. These are not rewards. These are the natural side effects of taking off the blindfold. But I need to be honest with you about one thing. When you start this work, you will feel resistance. Not from the universe, from yourself. Your ego is built out of linear time. Its entire identity depends on the story of who I was and who I will be. When you start dissolving time, the ego thinks it is dying, so it fights back. It will whisper doubts. It will say this is stupid. It will say you're crazy. Time is obviously linear. It will try to snap you back into the safe, familiar prison of the clock. That doubt isn't the truth. It is a defense mechanism. It is the sound of the old structure shaking. Most people stop here. They hit the resistance. They get scared and they retreat to the linear world because it feels normal. But you are not most people. If you were, you wouldn't be here right now. You wouldn't have watched this far. There is something in you that knows this is real. That knowing isn't a guess. It is a signal. It is the version of you who has already mastered this shift. Reaching back through the illusion of time, pulling you toward the truth. Trust that signal. It's time to wake up. There is a specific moment in this process that I call the fluidity point. It is the moment when your perception finally cracks open. Time stops feeling like a solid concrete structure you are forcing your way through and starts feeling like a malleable field you are dancing with. You will know you have hit this point because the pressure to figure it out evaporates. Your relationship with planning shifts. You stop frantically trying to control a future that hasn't happened yet and you start walking calmly into a future you know is already built. You aren't guessing anymore. You are aligning. Your relationship with memory changes too. You stop being haunted by your past because you no longer see it as a fixed statue. You see it as fluid, a living memory that you can edit and heal in real time from where you stand right now. But the biggest shift is in the present. The walls come down. Instead of feeling trapped in a narrow now between yesterday and tomorrow, you feel expansive. You feel like you are standing in a hall of mirrors where past, present and future are all reflecting each other simultaneously. From this fluid state, the struggle disappears. You aren't trying to force outcomes. You aren't waiting for permission. You are simply navigating the field, choosing which version of reality to step into next. This is when the real acceleration begins. It stops being an occasional synchronicity and becomes your baseline. Growth that used to feel gradual and painful becomes exponential and natural. You stop being surprised by miracles because you understand the mechanics behind them. You realize that time was never a cage. It was a tool. It was a field of infinite options that you were viewing through a pinhole. And now that you've taken the pinhole away, you aren't just watching time pass. You are choosing where it goes. If you are ready to stop just thinking about this and start actually doing it, I have something for you. I've created a specific protocol called Quantum Time Mastery. You can find the link in the description below. This isn't just theory. It is the practical step-by-step -step method for collapsing time, accessing your future timeline, and rewriting your past from the present moment. It is the manual for anchoring this fluid perception into your daily life, so you don't slip back into the linear trance. And if you want to keep decoding the mechanics of reality, hit that subscribe button. This channel isn't about entertainment. It is about showing you the code beneath the surface so you can stop fighting reality and start directing it. Remember, you aren't learning something new today. You are remembering something ancient. You are remembering that time is not a straight line. You are remembering that the past and future are just rooms in the same house. And you are remembering that you hold the keys to all of them. The version of you who has already mastered this they aren't waiting for you in the future. They are existing right now. They are right here, overlapping with this very moment, pulling you toward the truth. You don't need to become them. You just need to realize you already are them.